Hello and welcome to Farm Space. We're in the Free State Paris and I'm talking to you on Danhauser from Considerata SA and we're talking about the Drought Master. Now they've got an auction coming up very soon and uh, we're going to just talk about how he sees his breeding, why the Drought Master works and why is this such a fantastic animal to breed with. Ron, welcome again. Thanks Tina, it's nice to have you. Uh, Johan, uh, we spoke earlier about um, your way or, or your um, your way of seeing things, but just for, for our English viewers uh, that couldn't understand everything, if we talk about um, breeding with drought moss, what is important for you and how do you how do you approach it? I think Tina is the most important for any stud breeder is to realize that the future of any breed is determined by the commercial farmer. So when we breed our cattle, we make sure that you know the commercial side is the most important side and we try and breed animals that has commercial value for commercial farmers because that's where the future of any cattle breed lies if the farmers don't want to buy your bulls then there's no point in breeding that cattle um, so that's where we put most of our focus mm. um, the the drought masters is, is is one of those breeds that wants to go sort of in the in the center in the middle say so we want the hardiness uh, of the indicas but we also need we also need some meat we also need something that works well um, in the feedlot you guys have your own feedlot as well so you understand the system how how does this the drought master fit into the system in south africa yeah i think the drought master f ticks all the right boxes you know it's a first of all it's a hardy cattle that we can run on natural grass natural pastures and do well they're hardy, they're tough against drought, their resistance to ticks and disease is high, which is fantastic for commercial value. And then obviously after that, you know, all calves are weaned every year and almost about 2 million calves a year goes to feedlots. It's the main destination for every uh, commercial farmer's calves that he weans is to a feedlot. So the fact that the calves do well in feedlots is, is crucial. It's very important. Um, the cattle do well there. Also in the backgrounding um, environment where most operations run big uh, backgrounding of, of calves and they do very well. Um, and again, it's just because it's a well-balanced cattle, you know, it, it has a little bit of everything. It doesn't have a lot of something and nothing of another. So the fact that it's such a well-balanced all-round cattle is, is, I think, its main secret to its success. Mm. Um, let's quickly stop at your auction. Um, we spoke earlier, you do have quite a, a lot of um, uh, pulled animals on, on this auction. Um, why is that the reason for that and how do you balance that out making sure that you don't lose because the moment you go too pulled you sort of lose something else yeah. somewhere else there's always that, that balancing act how do you manage that as well yeah I mean it's it's almost like using it as a hybrid vigor in your cattle you know using bulls with horns on cows that are pulled and pulled bulls on horned cows um, it's almost that philosophy we run um, the fact that pulled cattle are becoming more and more popular in the industry is, is I mean it's a fact it's not it's just not me and you talking about it it is what it is um, in Australia the cattle are hundred percent pulled now you'll you'll struggle to find cattle that have horns and that's just because of the amount of work and effort it it takes to dehorn cattle and it's not a very nice process so so having half your calves um, without horns is definitely an advantage and uh, the, the commercial guys see that and they definitely want to use it in their operations just to make farming easier for them. Yeah, so it fits well into the feedlot system as well. You don't want things with horns in your feedlot. Um, it's an extra lot of work and extra time money in a feedlot. It's all, it's got, there's very small margins in a feedlot and you don't want that sort of trouble. Yeah, no, I mean, it's uh, dehorning cattle is an, is an absolute must. I mean, it's not only for operation, but also for the safety of your workers. Um, you know, horns are dangerous. So, you know, when you work with cattle, you'd understand that having cattle without horns is, I mean, it has to be that way. It's just safer for everyone. And also for the kids, you know, I don't want my little boys uh, in cattle pens with cattle with big horns. It's not, it's not safe for them. So definitely, it's it's an advantage. Um, your female uh, uh, presentation for this auction um, is some of your best lines that you're selling. Um, some of your best cows uh, lines. Also, well, I saw the one video we made, which is an absolute beaut. Um, there's a few, all of them. Um, we've got one with a little bit extra milk. Um, some very good fertility lines. Um, what can the guys expect from you? Yeah, again, the same as it's just a well-balanced offer. Mm -hmm. You know, we try and 
provide for the system everyone's different you know we want yeah. different things people are looking for different things so we try and offer everything that we can as much as possible you know the the cows are in high demand in south africa the breed is is growing fast and there's a demand for cattle but you know numbers aren't everything we try and make sure that the, the quality of the cows that we put on offer is of a very very high standard the cows will be screened uh, 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 viciously before the auction before they go on sale and you know we guarantee the success of the cattle the the buying of the cattle is one thing but it's very important to us that the people who buy the cows can have a future with this with this breed mm -hmm. so making sure everyone buys quality cattle is absolutely important to us the last time i was here you spoke you can see that most of the bulls you sell on your farm or sell from here are actually sold from the farm but you test all your bulls um, beforehand why is it how does your system work yeah i think you know it's everyone wants to buy a three-year-old bull um, for me on my farm i prefer younger bulls uh, younger bulls tend to not fight as as hard as older bulls so you have less problem with broken legs and and cripple with the with the cows and and the bulls and also the the bulls are tend to they're more active you know they don't lie around waiting for the cows <laughs> so uh, we prefer young bulls we use our bulls at 14 months um, and then we put them again uh, six months six months later we put them in again with the cows because we run a summer and a winter breeding season and when the bulls are about two years of age we start putting them into the market we we offer them we don't we don't hold auctions um, the, the buyers come to the farm they pick their bulls that they want we we agree on a price and uh, and that's how it works and it works for everyone because we can sell the bulls at, a, at a, an affordable price and also the farmers can buy the bulls they want and it's not an auction where you have to take what you can afford or take what you get type of scenario um, so uh, it works for us and then we sell bulls that have been tested twice you know um, which is a, a tough environment for a young bull to be working is the best practice and I mean that's where you get tested to, to the full extent and then you can see from these cars that they will put on meat or if there's problems early on so yeah. you do get that uh, stats back and you've got the feedlot to prove that on your side yes as well. yes definitely okay the one your auction is uh, next all next week it's uh, next week friday is that I'm sorry, that's the seventh right yeah it's next week's thursday seventh seventh of april and uh yeah i mean uh, everyone's welcome even if you don't want to buy just want to kind of have a look at the cattle um it's definitely the cow and the breed for the future it's a it's a it's one of the few breeds that's actually growing in numbers most other breeds are declining in, in cattle numbers so it's definitely worth looking into for for investors uh, there's a bright future for this for this breed in this country mm. also you've got some embryos on sale as well um, do you have semen straws? Yeah, we'll have semen of all Australian genetics. Um, there's going to be embryos out of our best cow lines with some of our best bulls. Um, and definitely um, for people who are, are serious about breeding, um, definitely the place to be. Okay. Yvonne, as always, thank you very much and we'll uh, talk soon. Thank you. Okay, guys, you have it. Thursday, not Friday, Thursday here yeah, in Paris, Afridome. Make sure you get here, even if you just want to have a look. This is going to be, it's one of these auctions of the year that Drought Masters want to see. It's one of the things that get this season kicking. And um, yeah, I'm very excited. See you there. Until next time. Cheers.